So this video is for all of the ladies out there that only have less than 15 minutes to do their makeup and they're not looking to do a full beat every single day. This tutorial is going to be my very minimalist, no makeup makeup type look. I've never really done this before because your girl is a full coverage, full beat every single day kind of girl. So I decided to switch it up and do something a little different. I'm going to show you guys how I did it and it, I think it only took me like 15 minutes. The goal was 10. I'm going to show it to you right now. Um. So the theme of today is minimalist beauty. So I'm gonna get into this quick and easy look using as few products as I can. And some of the products that I'm gonna be using is from Merit Beauty. They actually gifted me this cute little makeup bag and some products to help me do my quick and easy face. So a little bit about Merit Beauty. They launched in January, 2021. It's in Sephora. It's a clean beauty brand. And their whole model is less is more. So you'll actually get one of these little makeup bags with every first order and I love it. It's so cute, it's washable and you can store all of your makeup products in it. So some of the things that I got was a brow pencil. So, or not brow pencil, girl. I got a brow mascara and it comes in this cute goat packaging, so cute. I'm gonna use this today. I'm also gonna be using their blush balm. So I'm using the shade Raspberry Beret and their Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I am using the shade Amber. So I'll show you guys this in a minute. And their newest launch is their Signature Lip Lipstick. It launched on February 22nd. And it looks just like this very nice packaging, very beautiful. I got the shade Fashion, which is a really pretty pink. So I'm gonna use that today in my look. So for today's look, I'm gonna do my best to get my face done in 10 minutes or less. We're gonna see, I am normally a full coverage kind of girl. So let's start right now. So my skin is prepped and ready to go and y'all know me, I'm doing my brows first. So I'm using the Merit Beauty Volumizing Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown. I've never used a colored brow mascara before, so this is gonna be interesting. I do want this look to be more like a no makeup makeup type look, so I'm sure this will be perfect for my brows. So I am going to brush this in. I'm gonna start by brushing this in. Oh, she has a lot of color, a lot more color than I was expecting, but I'm gonna brush this into my brows and I'm just brushing, oof, shoot. I'm just brushing up and out and then I'm gonna go over or go around the edges of my brows and just kind of clean them up a little bit because I am in need of a brow wax but that actually looks pretty good I was I like this they look very subtly colored in so now let me just show so you guys can see so this one I colored in this one is still bare I like this. Let me dip it one more time. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and use a concealer brush just to draw a very like thin line underneath my brows to clean them up. Okay, so I use just the teeniest, tiniest amount just to clean up around the brows and make them look like they're freshly waxed. All I needed, and that was pretty quick. It's only been about a minute so far. So now I can get into the rest of the face and I'm gonna be using my fingers to blend out most of the products that I'm using today. So for a light layer of coverage, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 20. And I'm just gonna squeeze out some all over my face and just rub it in like moisturizer with my fingers. And this is just gonna give me a light layer of coverage. I don't need a lot because I do want this to be more like a no makeup type look. Just imagine you just need something to go to Target and just run a few errands. You don't need to do a full face, but you do want something. All right, so that skin tint just gives me just like a very sheer layer of coverage. It just helps to even out my skin tone just a little bit. Like, of course, it's not covering up all of this hyperpigmentation, um, but that's not what I'm trying to do today. I just needed something just to just make it a little bit more even. 
Now just for a little bit more coverage in certain areas, I'm going to be using the Merit Beauty Perfecting Complexion Stick. I'm using the shade Amber. It is a little bit light for me, but once it blends out, it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to put it on top of some of the dark spots that I have, and I'm going to use it under my eyes. There we go. And let me put it under my eyes. I'm gonna show you guys one side first. So just rub it on underneath. And then I'm gonna blend this all out with my fingers. So that's one side. See how it just gives me like that brightness? I like that. Cause I do tend to have like dark under eyes. So now I'm just gonna go in and just blend out wherever I place that beauty stick. And now blend underneath my eye. Yeah, that looks good. I like how it makes my under eye just look that much brighter and just more awake. So now I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll get into the next step. So now I'm gonna add a little cheek color and I'm using the, what is this called? Oh, I guess it's called Cheek Color. Cheek Color by Merit Beauty in the shade Raspberry Beret. And it's just a little balm. And I'm just gonna put it right where I want some blush. And then again, blend it out with my fingers. It's a nice soft pink. I love this. Perfect for brown skin tone, so. Just blend it out with my fingers. If I blend too much, I'll just go back in and add some more. Go, and then before I move forward, because y'all know my under eyes crease, so I am gonna have to set that perfecting stick with some powder. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting powder, and instead of using a sponge, I'm gonna use this brush here from Morphe. It is the E8 Morphe brush. Before I do that though, I wanna make sure I get rid of all of that creasing. Cause we don't want to set the creases. And now I'm just gonna use just the tiniest bit and just pat it on to my creases right here. That'll just help set that cream that I put under there and keep it from creasing. Okay, so I set under my eyes. Now I want to go over with a face powder. I'm gonna be using the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. So this powder is very, very, very light coverage and it'll still give me like that skin type look to my face because I don't want this to be too like heavy coverage. So I'm just gonna lightly dust this all over my face just to give me like that skin type glow. And then by the way, I'm using the shade 6N, which is kind of a little bit dark for me. I need to get the shade 5N. So when I put this powder on, I try to keep it towards like the perimeter of my face and not the center. If I do do the center, it's gonna be a very like, very light dusting because I don't want it to make my entire face too dark. For my eyelids, I'm still gonna use the Dior powder and I'm using the E8 brush that I just used to set my under eyes and just put some on my lids cause it just needs a little bit of color. Just a little bit of something. So just cover my lids up with that. I'm not trying to do a full eyeshadow look, but I wanted to just have something. And I'm just packing it on and like stippling it all over. It really doesn't matter the placement. I really just want my lids to be kind of powdered down. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. I think it's called Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara in the black shade. So I'm just gonna throw some of this on and then we'll get into the lips. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna get into the lipstick. And I told you earlier, it's in the shade Fashion. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. And I like it because it's a very sheer kind of pink. It goes very well with the whole like no makeup, <laughs> natural look. <laughs> I like that. It's a very soft pink and it's very sheer. It feels very moisturizing on the lips. 
perfect it's almost like a lip balm so now since i blended out everything with my fingers i'm gonna wash my hands and then i'll come back for my outro all right so this is what my face is looking like i actually really like it and this is probably the fastest face i have ever done in my life it usually takes me a good hour to do my makeup and this one i know my goal was 10 minutes but it took me 15 <laughs> and it's probably because i was talking but this is it for the look thank you so much merit beauty for gifting me these products i really love them if you guys thought they look good too check it out on meritbeauty.com or at sephora it launched i think yesterday i have my link down below if you'd like to go and shop if you made it all the way to the end of this video thank you so much for watching this is the kind of content i'm bringing you every single wednesday on my channel also don't forget to subscribe Hit those notification bells so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.